At another wedding years ago, I did a reading from St. Paul. My wonderful Aunt Jean, a sort of anti name character who was sadly long gone, didn't recognize the source of the words. On the way out of church, she said to my brother Charlie, Graydon's dad, didn't your brother do a wonderful job with his speech? <laughs> and my brother, quite rightly, didn't miss a beat, and said, well, he said, I think he had a little help from St. Paul. <laughs> so when Alexander and Graydon first asked me to say something, I thought that once again, I would get a little help from St. Paul. But that was before Alexander and Graydon talked to me, separately, I should say, about love and commitment. And after those conversations, it was clear to me that neither St. Paul nor I could tell these two very much about love. Instead, their thoughts and words can help us all appreciate the depth of feeling they bring to the ceremony today and strengthen and remind us of the foundations of our own lasting relationships. Alexandra talked about the sharing that has strengthened them both as each has worked through starting a new career. No matter what, there has never been a moment of doubt that they are there for each other, unconditionally. We share in the joys together, she said, and we help work through all the hard times together. Braden's take was similar he said that whatever challenges they face, whatever the future brings, he will be content in life with Alexander as his partner. Braden went on to say that he's especially mindful of his love for Alexander in the times when they are planning their future together. Life will undoubtedly mix those plans up or cast them aside, he said, but my love for her grows when I realize that will both recognize the importance of family. Alexandra talked about how Graydon involved both sets of parents at the site of the proposal. Most of you know that proposal, and we are happy to say acceptance, <laughs> took place in the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. So as I put these remarks together, I could have drawn in references to Lincoln's words on freedom, and emancipation, or even to the better angels of our natures. But I'm going to leave those for other times and other speakers. What I don't want to leave for other times or other speakers are just a few words about the power of ritual to strengthen a relationship. Alexander and Graydon probably already have some rituals. Maybe it has to do with morning coffee or sitting down at the end of the day together. We all have those sorts of customs, rituals, and in our house, we're convinced that they serve to reinforce and keep us mindful of our care for one another and our determination to continually nurture our love. And finally, I am going to read the last words for St. Paul. What he said to the people of Corinth nearly two centuries ago applies as well today to the people of White Lake. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails.